Hello friends, this is Ron Brown. Welcome to my shop. It's June in the year 2024 and I have a brand new helper for you. Are you tired of making funnels? Are you sick of overly thick bottoms for fear of cutting through? No more. Do you have more than one lathe or do you do bold demonstrations or perhaps hollow forms on other lathes? The new bull bottom thickness finder will show you the thickness of your project's bottom with precision. It works with plates, platters, bowls, hollow forms, vases, urns, etc. This device will give you an accurate visual representation of the bottom thickness. You don't have to try to line up the tip of a dowel with the chuck jaws and guess at the bottom thickness. This is accurate down to one half of one thousandth of an inch. Imagine that you have a really nice piece of timber. You bought it, so you've got a pretty large investment before you even start. You rough turned it about four months ago. Now you're ready to do the final turning. And you've worked all day getting it just right with no torn grain. You worked hard to get out all the sanding scratches. It's gorgeous. And then as you make your final pass across the bottom, you punch through. And now you have a very expensive funnel. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you didn't ever have to worry about that again? The bowl bottom thickness finder is easy to set up, quick, and easy to use. Before we get started, let me go over some of the capacities of our new bowl bottom thickness finder since you may be wondering if this will work on your lathe. Here are the specifications. It will work on any lathe with swings from 8 inches all the way up to 25 inches. It's compatible with bedway gaps from 1 inch wide up to 3 inches wide. The standard depth is up to 10 inches. It is accurate to 1 half of 1 thousandth of an inch. Longer rods are available if your project is deeper than 10 inches. You can use it on multiple lathes. You can use it with multiple scroll chucks, face plates, screw chucks, etc. It is very versatile. It even works with spindle extenders in case you use a 1x8 appliance on a lathe with a 1 and a quarter inch spindle. It works on interior tenons as well as exterior tenons. Just set it up accordingly. The construction is durable, high density polyethylene and steel pipe and steel fittings. We have built in two unique centering arms that quickly center the bowl bottom thickness finder in the exact center of the bedways, which fits gaps from one inch up to three inches wide. Let me pause for a moment to talk about the unique centering system that we've built into your bowl bottom thickness finding jig. The jig needs to be in the exact center of the bedways to work properly. There are many commercially available center finding jigs on the market to find the exact thickness of a board. I use that principle to easily find the exact center of the opening in the bedways and incorporated it into our jig. There's a centering mechanism on either end. You just loosen the knob, turn it to the right until it stops and tighten it down. Repeat that on the other end and your jig will now be perfectly centered. What this jig does and how it does it. Since the headstock is stationary and doesn't move throughout the entire operation, we've chosen it to be our reference point. We set the lower rod to touch the headstock down near the bedways. Next, with our holding device mounted in the lathe spindle, usually a chuck with steel jaws, we can now adjust the upper rod in relation to where we want the bottom of the bowl to ultimately be. This position would normally be the outside of the bottom after we have removed an exterior tenon. So, for normal exterior tenons, this is going to be across the face of the chuck jaws. For interior tenons, we need to go inside the chuck jaws from an eighth to a quarter of an inch, whatever the depth of your 
interior tenon is. Both rods are fully adjustable and lock easily into place to accommodate different projects. After the initial setup, when you want to check the bottom thickness, you would just place your jig on the bedways with the lathe turned off. Move the jig until the top rod touches the bottom of the bowl. The distance from the bottom rod to the headstock is your current bottom thickness. You don't have to move a dowel and lock it down and then sight by eye to see how close you are to where you expect the bottom of the bowl to be. That's not very accurate and parallax can cause some serious errors. Some folks may even wish to create a series of gauge blocks to measure the distance from the bottom rod to the headstock exactly. For example, you could make a set for an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, three eighths, a half an inch, etc. if you're shooting for a specific bottom thickness.